Hey everyone, today I'm going to be going over some essential tips that will really help you out as you begin your journey in Genshin Impact. Also, before I start, this is my first tutorial video, so be sure to let me know in the comments what you like and don't like about the video, so that I can improve in the future and help you guys get the information that you need. First things first, we have to talk about Animoculus. Animoculus are found throughout the first region of the map, with Geoculus being found in the second region which you won't really have to worry about for a little while, so mostly just focus on Animoculus. Both of these collectibles can be found by exploring the map and can be obtained through either completing puzzles or sometimes just simply walking up to them and picking them up. The main thing I want to stress is that there are a lot of these, and you will not remember where you got them from, so I highly recommend using an interactive map, which I've linked in the description, to mark where you find these and which ones you've collected so far. Unfortunately, I learned this tip way too late, after I had already collected over 30 of these, which is why I'm making sure you guys don't make the same mistake that I did. Once you collect a certain amount of Animoculus, you can go to any Statue of the Seven to offer these to gain a boost to your maximum stamina, as well as some extra rewards. Collecting these is very important, as extra stamina allows you to use charge attacks more often, sprint more, climb more, etc. So I highly recommend getting as many of these as you can. Another important thing to note is that the Statue of the Seven also heals you and revives your dead party members. So if you're ever in a situation where you don't want to use food and you just want to go travel somewhere to heal up, just travel to one of the Statue of the Sevens. The next tip is fairly straightforward. When you start off the game, you probably won't know what to do with any of your currency, since they really don't explain anything to you. Whenever you gain access to the Wish menu, I personally recommend using your two discounted beginner summons as soon as you get enough Acquaint Fate to do so. Not only are they discounted at 20% off, but you are also guaranteed a specific 4-star Geo unit in your first pull. Adventure Rank Rewards. This one's funny because this is also another thing that I had no idea even existed. Adventure Rank is basically the level system that, you know, you're constantly climbing an Adventure Rank as you explore more of the map, as you level up, do quests, etc. And there's a part in town where you can claim rewards, but I had no idea. So, literally all you have to do is go to the place that you'll see in the video, in the main town, and talk to the NPC, and you'll be able to claim rewards every time you level up. The next tip is kind of obvious, but also not really. Explore everything. This is one of those things that you're going to feel guilty about the entire time, but I promise you it is a good idea. There are so many games that I've played that are open world where I'm like, ah, I gotta do the main quest, I can't explore things. This is not one of those games. You actually get so much from exploring, and honestly, the majority of the game, you're meant to explore things. Not only when you gain XP and find new spots on the map, but you kind of have to explore just to progress in the story. There are several times where you won't be a high enough adventure rank unless you've been exploring, so you won't be able to continue the story unless you've been going around, looting chests, solving puzzles, fighting enemies, etc. The last tip for this video is very quick, it's just remember to get your login rewards. All you have to do is just sign into the game, click a couple menu buttons, and claim your login reward. These reset uh, Central Standard Time at 4am, so for me, I'm Eastern Standard Time resets at 5am. Considering the fact that all you have to do is log in to get these rewards, it's kind of a no-brainer that you have to claim these daily, especially since it'll take you maybe 5 minutes to do this. So I highly recommend you don't miss out on these free items. Hopefully these tips help you out as you begin your journey in Genshin Impact. There's plenty more information that's important in the game, but these are the main things that I wish I had known when I first started playing. If this helped you out, be sure to like and leave a comment and let me know if there are any guides that you want me to make in the future, as I'll likely be doing a ton of different guide videos for this game. I also stream live on Twitch, link in the description, so I recommend you not only subscribe to my YouTube, but also follow me on Twitch to catch me when I go live. 
Also join my Discord, link also in the description. I'm constantly hanging out there with friends, so it's a good way to contact me with questions and just hang out and chat. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.